Hi everyone, it's Rock for Cash, People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. Well, week, what was that? Week three's done and dusted. Good God. Yeah, into week four now. That'll officially put us more than a quarter of the way through the season. Uh, interesting results as normal. Um, few upsets, few coaches upset too, including the cash. Uh, with that said and done, we'll get into the FNFL action and uh, review week three. Uh, before we do that, though, we've got a song uh, for this week. This is a song called For a Better Day by Avicii. Poor bastard was uh, killed for exposing uh, Illuminati stuff. So just um, if you get a chance, check out this video. It's pretty powerful. So we'll just get that playing in the background. Um, okay, on to week three. What's happened? Who's up who and who hasn't paid? Let's have a look. Okay, let's start off with uh, the latest uh, train casualty. The train's definitely off the rails here, rock for cash. They're basically fucked at this stage. Um, going down to the Browns, 60.8 to 98.78. No one really gave a yelp on the cash's side. It's fucking hopeless. Rogers 13, Aguilar 15, Butker 10. Browns, though, led beautifully. Tyler Plugger Lockett, 27.3. Aaron Jones, 14, uh, Thomas, 11, Lamar Jackson, 18. Yeah, look, Cash's team at the moment is just basically fucked. He's got Deshaun Jackson injured, Tate suspended, Breeze injured, injured, Hill injured, Hunt suspended, Antonio Brown. <laughs> basically, who knows what goes on with that kid. He is just one effed up mofo. Um, Cash is going to keep him on his team just in case he ends up, like, it's like you wake up every morning and it's, what has he done now? Like, I could wake up tomorrow and he's playing for Jacksonville, or I could wake up tomorrow and he's killed someone. So, I mean, this guy is definitely effed upstairs, so, I don't know. But Cash has got to do something. He's up against Team Mazza this week. And um, we don't play well against Team Mazza, so it's not a great time to be playing Team Mazza. But anyway, well done, Brown. Uh, Brown, a great effort, mate, to beat the Cash. Always put in a bigger effort when you play the Cash. I know that, mate. I know you like to beat the Cash. The Cash is the team that everyone wants to beat. Uh, and at this stage, everyone's got to beat him the way he's playing. So Cash is just... Aiming towards the finals at this stage, get to week 14, see where he's positioned and um, have a tilt at the duty bowl from there. But uh, I think it's going to be a pretty long season for the cash. Okay, into the next game. This was a good game, this one, actually. Moneymakers 8 up against Archie's All-Stars. Moneymakers uh, 112.94 beat Archie's All-Stars 105.06. Very, very close game. I think it came down to, yeah, Nick Chubb uh, yesterday scoring 13 to get him across the line. But uh, Stafford also got 12 for the moneymaker. Thielen, 17. Cooper, 20. Samuel, 11. And uh, Dallas Cowboys defense, 13 for Archies. Matt Ryan, 22. Johnson, 12. Mack, 14, Julio 18, Ingram 17, Zerline 10. So yeah, that was a really good game to watch. Uh, both coaches would be proud of the efforts of their team. Um, I think the Alter boys are get a fair hammering this week for losing. I'd say they'll be walking very funnily after Father Cull gets through with them. Uh, some might have sore throats as well, but um, yeah, as FNFL is, there's always next week, so bad luck, Archies. Well done, money makers. First win for the season, first loss for Archies for this year too. Okay, on to the next game. We have uh, Smooth Criminal uh, took on Team Mazza, the undefeated Team Mazza. The train was flying, but the train took uh, had to actually stop at a station on this game because Smooth Criminal got up 123.86 to Team Mazza 97.94. Good score by Mazza, but just not enough against the Smooth Criminal. And also, shout out to the Smooth Criminal. Today is September 25. That's meaning that's Smooth Criminal's birthday. So, happy birthday, Smooth Criminal. Hope you have a great day. Hopefully the Brown 
little blokey look after you. So all the best, my dear. Um, okay, what happened in this one? Mike Evans, 37 points. Fuck me. Three touchdowns, 197, 190 yards. 37 points. Fuck. Uh, Cook, 20, leading the league in rushing yards too, I think, this kid. Elliot, 13. Wentz, 18. Crosby, 11. Saints, 16. So, yeah, great effort there. Team Mazza's side, Deshaun Watson, 23. Hilton, 12. Uh, Disley's new tight end got 12. And the Bears' defense, they were good. Weren't they good against Washington? 24 points. Uh, did have a chat to Team Mazza just to gauge what was going on with the team. Uh, he wanted the league to know that he lost this game. Jordan did not win this game. Um, few decisions made by Team Mazza apparently cost him the game. So he's not too worried. He um, just wanted Smooth Criminal to know that she didn't beat him. He lost. Um, in the next game... Oh, the dark side. Oh, boy. Uh, 137.96 beat the Young Remix Killers, 86.3. So he obviously found the Young Remix Killers Stadium down there in Melbourne somewhere, so he'll have to uh, get back to the rest of us and tell us where the fuck it is, because we don't know. Um, but, yeah, 137.96, that's a really good score. Um, so the Mahomes train again, 26, nearly 27 points. Derek Henry, 10 uh, Keenan Allen, 30. Good God. Cup, 22. Waller, 14. Mixon, 15. The Vikings, 10. On the other side, only a couple of players getting over double figures here. Lindsay got 25 and Shepard got 20. So panic stations are definitely going to have to sit in for young remix killers here. You know, a 50-point win. No, 50-point loss, I should say. Sorry about that. 50-point loss to uh, the dark side. Wow. Um, it's like the Twilight Zone. You don't see Kev losing games, usually. So, but uh, all the chocolates to Damo, the MILF hunter, he has gone berserk in this one. So, well done to you, champ. Great effort. Uh, in the next game... Um, who do we have? Mitch's Mongrels, our defending duty bowl champion. 102.8 beat Little River Giants, 94.24. This was the closest game of the round. Still an eight-point win to Mitch's Mongrels, though. Uh, Mitch's Mongrels, who do you have? Brissett, 19. McCaffrey, 24. Cooks, 12. Olsen, 19. The 49ers, 10. Uh, on the other side, Prescott, 21 for Little River Giants. Johnson, 10. Hooper 18 and the Patriots 15. So look, Little River Giants wouldn't be too upset about this loss. It was very, very well played, but chocolates to Mitch's Mongrels and looks like they're making a bit of a run as well. Um, that's two wins on the on the trot as well for them. So what well under you, Mitch's Mongrels? Um, in the last game, yeah, the Battle of Merbeen, I have talked to uh, Shiva Kamini and Little Waiters. Everything's cool, even though uh, Shiva Kamini did win 128.84 to Little Waiters 106.84. 106.84 as a losing score is pretty good. Um, would have basically beaten a lot of other teams. Would have beaten what? Two, three, four. Would have beaten seven other teams. So a bit stiff to come up against Nickety in this one, Little Waiter. But um, for Shiva Kamini, Tom Brady 20, Kamara 28. Edelman, 12. Mark Ingram, 31 and a half. Good God. Rams, 11. On the other side, that kid I reckon is going to be good. Russell Wilson, 41.34. Definitely the player of the week there. Yeah, look, he's going to be good. Um, Sanders, 16. The guy from uh, Philly. Uh, Moore from uh, Carolina got 12. And the Panthers got 16. So a bit stiff there, um little waiter to lose but all the all the praise to uh, Shiva Kamini who started off this season fantastic so well done to you Shiva hope it keeps going for you little waiters hope you get that win soon as well so 
just in summing up, Rock for Cash lost to the Browns. Uh, Money Makers eight beat Archie's All Stars. Smooth Criminal beat Team Mazza. Uh, the Dark Side beat Young Remix Killers. Mitch's Mongrels beat Little River Giants. Uh, and Shiva Kamini uh, beat Little Waiters. So let's look on to what's happening in week four in FNFL. Um, we have Rock for Cash, as I said, playing Team Mazza. Shiva Kamini playing Little River Giants. That should be a good game based on where they've uh, been playing lately. Archie's All Stars up against Smooth Criminal will be another good game. The Browns against Little Waiters. That'll be a good game. Young Remus Killers versus Mitch's Mongrels. At least that one's going to be a Melbourne-based battle, so Mitch's Mongrels should um, be able to find the Young Remus Killer. Uh, and in the final game, the Padawan game, uh, the Dark Side up against Money Makers 8. So with that said, what else have we got? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so... Friday's first game, Philadelphia Philadelphia Eagles will be playing the Green Bay Packers. That should be a good game. And we'll round off week four with the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So that's pretty much it for um, Rock for Cash for his review of week three. Just a couple of things. I did post this yesterday, but have a look at this play. He's an absolute champion. Little Al Bundy, when he played for Polk, Polk High, 1966, scored four touchdowns in the city championship game. The Cash just had to have this bloke. He's got the number on the back as well. He's an absolute champion, this little Al Bundy. Uh, and finally, just in another uh, another game, not F NFL related at all, um, Cash will be doing a bit of a preview on this game as well um, on Thursday. He'll give you his winner and his Norm Smith medalist, his margin, and um, a few other tips. Just uh, so you know, Maz, T Maz and I have a betting account, and we did actually pick um, the top four Brownlow uh, winners. So at 12 to 1, put 10 bucks on, so a cheeky little 120. So. Team Maz and I are very, very happy with that. But with that said, enjoy uh, the rest of your day. Again, happy birthday to Smooth Criminal. Hope you have a great day. And, um, yeah, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with a uh, preview of, uh, what are we up to? Week four. Week four. All right, guys, have a good one. That's a cash out.